What's up, Hicks Brunson Eyewear Nation. Today, I'm talking about 3D printed eyewear. Specifically, I'm talking about the Dimension Collection made by Goatee in Switzerland. It's fun, it's colorful, it's modern. Don't go anywhere. Thank you so much for tuning in to our video today. As mentioned, we will be talking about the Goatee Dimension Collection, which is 3D printed eyewear. But one quick thing before we get started, if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below so that you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. So talking about the Dimension Collection, as I said, it is a 3D printed eyewear collection. It's uh, made using additive manufacturing processes. So let's talk a little bit about how the frames are designed and created. So what you have to begin with is a 2D rendering of the spectacle shape. This is then converted into a CAD drawing, which can be converted into a printable file. Then you have the 3D printers are able to take that file to produce the spectacles. Now at that point, you have more traditional manufacturing processes with color and surface treatments and color applications. Now all of the equipment necessary to manufacture these frames is located at the Goatee Manufacturing Facility in Switzerland. Everything from the large 3D printer to the laser for inscribing the frames to the color application process to the sandblasting machines, everything's right there. And the manufacturing process is so cool, the base material used to make these frames is polyamide. And polyamide looks like a fine white powder uh, before it's fed into the printer. And then what happens is a laser actually fuses the material together layer for layer. And once it is finished, the powder that's unused falls away and the actual frame itself comes out of the printer where it goes for color application. So we've talked about how they're made. Let's look at some of these frames. But first, the frame I'm wearing today is one of the Goatee Rimless frames. And there's a little bit of that 3D printed material that makes up the rim of my frame here. My frame is a stainless steel metal but the darker color around the rim is actually that polyamide material, the same material that is used on the Dimension Collection to make the 3D printed frames. So I'm gonna start out with the sunglasses. This is one called Elna, and Elna is a cat eye shape, very pointy right here, and the beautiful thing about the Elna is it really showcases what can be done with the 3D printing technology. It's got this nice raw velvety finish to it, but it has this pattern of curved lines that you can see that run from the top down to the bottom. And the beautiful thing about this material, it weighs, it feels like it, it weighs almost nothing. When you put it on, you feel it, but it almost feels like a rimless frame. It, it just, it's so lightweight, it's incredible. There's a metal spring hinge that makes up the hinge, so you have nice stability here. But the temple is designed with a natural curve to it. That's generally gonna hug the head, uh, just right off the shelf. These are heat adjustable to a small degree. You don't wanna be adjusting them to a, a large degree but you can influence them with, with a little bit of heat. And I like the lens in this Elna. So this is a, this is a purple color. I think they call it berry. Um, has a sort of a purple gray gradient lens tint with a backside anti-reflective coating. This, this I love. This is called Costa. So this is a dark brown color and it's got some it's thick it's got some beautiful sculpted angles all around and any of these you could you could have prescription lenses made for uh, if you don't need prescription lenses and you want sunglasses and, and you can wear you know non-prescription sunglasses the lens that comes in this frame is pretty cool as it is it's got a photochromic sort of a yellowish color with a flash gold mirror and I'm just gonna hit 
the left lens with my UV flashlight here. So sort of darkens to a, like a G15, like a dark gray green. So this one's really nice because the photochromic is <laughs> it's great for overcast days. It's this lighter shade. It's great for brighter sunny days. It turns to this darker shade, but it's got a really cool look to it. Like it's kind of this modern, fun, you know, trendy look with the thickness, but you know, also clean and simple and modern look. So I'm gonna also look at this fun design here. This is called a Spino, and this is a dark blue color. They call it denim. And Espino also has this cool structure to the front where they have horizontal lines that run all the way through the front. Again, it has the nice flexible temple, the spring hinge, a lot bigger than these other two. Uh, doesn't feel like it weighs anymore. Um, you could make these about as big as can be made to fit on a head. And uh, this material is incredible how light it is. I'm gonna put it on a scale here in a little bit and weigh it and compare it to an acetate frame of the same thickness, um, I would bet money that it's half the weight. Um, kind of the stars of the sunglass collection right now, I would say this latest release, this is one called Cabana, and this is a color called Flamingo. Thick, chunky chain. Uh, this is a, a fun trend, the, uh, the thick, chunky chain. I've been seeing a lot of this. Uh, the cool thing about this is it is removable, so you just take it all the way off the end of the temple back here if you don't want to wear it with the chain. But the chain makes, the chain gives you two things. It's functional, um, if, you need a, if you need it to, you know, keep it, keep it in place, you know, when you take it off, you don't want it to, you don't want to put it on top of your head because it might fall off. The chain keeps the frames safely around your neck but the style of a chain. Let it hang right down here. That's street style. So it's made of the same nylon material that the frame is made of. So it's not heavy. Um, a lot of the thicker chains that are out there right now are made of acetate. They're definitely gonna be heavier than this material. I looked really silly wearing that just now because I don't know if pink is quite my color. Um, this one, I love. This is called Cabazos. And Cabazos is made in this color called Pool. So it's a dark blue black combo with the thick blue chain. And I've already uh, I've already got one of these for myself. I've been wearing it on uh, walks around the neighborhood. The aviator style is so cool because it's an iconic style that's sporty. And this one is so, it's quintessential aviator because it's sporty by nature. This color looks sporty. The color called pool, I could definitely, I, I, I'm ready to be laying out by the pool this summer wearing this frame with the, this rich blue color. Um, all of that looks sporty. I could see dressing this up. I, I need to get some cool blue shoes <laughs> to wear with this one. Um, but it's also, I mean, just so fun and modern with this thick layered design with the blue on the front, the black through the center, the blue on the back. So again, that is Cabazos in the pool color. All right, so we've talked about the sunglasses. Now let's talk about the optical frames. I've got a handful of them here and they sort of have two different designs uh, or two different like types of designs from which many varieties of shapes and styles kind of flow from. So they have uh, pieces like this one. This one's called Rodney and this is in the denim color. And Rodney is a design that is a fully 3D printed frame. That is the temples are made of the, uh, the polyamide and the front is made of the polyamide. You've got the metal spring hinge that makes up the structure of the hinge you've got this nice thin clean look here fully polyamide 3d printed except for the metal and the spring hinge then they also have designs which are made uh, like this where the front is 3d printed and the sides are uh, metal so this is the calais and you have a like a stone color with a gold uh, temple arm here and this one has adjustable nose pieces 
So depending on what look you, you, know, you want, you've got a structure like this, which is a combination piece, uh, like the Calais here, or you've got like the Rodney here, or you have that full uh, nylon polyamide material. Uh, both are super lightweight. Um, there's some advantages to you know, each one. This design, the structure of the temple, like I mentioned previously, this is a little bit heat adjustable. Um, doesn't always really need a lot of adjustment. This temple here, I love this design. This is a stainless steel temple. This can be, short, this can be adjusted very particularly behind the back of the ear. You can put a, a nice bend in it, bring it down, bring it in this direction. You can also shorten it. Uh, I can, this can, this covering over the end, which grips the skin, this rubbery material, this can be removed and it was designed to wear, and I'll just kind of demonstrate that here. Um, this can be shortened in increments of, looks like about five millimeters each, whereby if you have a distance that is a little shorter from the front to where your ear would be, uh, this could be shortened and customized to fit you exactly the way you need a temple length to fit. So you don't just have to go with the standard temple length. You can have it customized to your head. So you've got that design as well. And you've got some fun shapes. You've got the pata, and this is a hexagonal shape, has the adjustable nose pads, and has sort of a different style of temple. This one, not gonna be customizable on shape, but it has, or on, excuse me, not be customizable on length like that other design is, uh, but it has a really cool hinge design, sort of a, sort of a, a flexible design that kind of pops in and out that's attached to the front here. I really like, I really like the functionality of that. It's real smooth, but this is one of those very classic, like I, I kind of think of the 1960s when I think of this shape, but because it's made in the nylon material, with the, the stainless steel, or these might be titanium, they use both of those materials. With the combination nylon metal temples, gives it that super modern look. And since it has the adjustable pads, the uh, adjustable temple arms, they're so comfortable. You, you've gotta, you gotta try these on and feel them. They're just that comfortable. And then they even make petites, uh, or sort of a, a kid's collection. And I have the low tee here, which has the denim color front, with the stainless steel metal temple arms. And these are, I mean, you talk about durability, you know, all, all of these frames, you've got a super flexible temple arm with the nylon front that's also flexible. You've got some fun round shapes, like this is the, I'm probably not gonna pronounce the name of this one right, it's spelled U-B-E-E. -E. So, Ubi, Ubi, I'm probably overcomplicating it, it's probably just Ubi but it's a nice like round shape. And this is a greenish, like a real dark green color that is called moss. Um, I have a moss color in a rectangular shape. This is probably one of the better sizes on me from this series. Uh, this is a model called Rush. And the consistent thing from all of these is the lightweight, comfortable feel. They're all super light and comfy on the face and there's also another neat feature with these where they can, because they're 3D printed and they can sort of be made on the fly, uh, they're available in custom sizes. So they can be made a little bit larger, a little bit shorter. There's lots of um, ability to customize the size with these frames. So um, just wanted to kind of show some of the ones that we have here. This is a color I haven't gotten to yet, but this is a little, a little shape called Race, and this is a color called Ash. So it's kind of a a dark black color, but just the, the raw finish of this stuff uh, has a nice cool feel to it, like smooth, looks raw, but feels velvety smooth. It's, it's all really futuristic, and I think that's what I like about it so much. And there are so many more designs where these came from, and of course we'll show those when we get the new designs in. Uh, of course, you can also check out our Instagram page. You can follow us at Hicks Brunson, where we regularly post new products and uh, new designs. And uh, we've got a whole series unfolding right now with the goatee 
eyewear collection. Thank you so much for watching our video today. If you have any questions or comments, make sure you drop those in the comments down below. It really does help us make the channel. If you've got suggestions for new videos, things you want us to cover, we'd really appreciate your feedback. And if you have any questions about any of the frames that we showed in the video today, reach out to us, send us an email. We will make all of the links available to shop all of the eyewear that we've shown in today's video available in the description box down below as well. And if you've enjoyed what you saw here today, make sure you hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss any of our upcoming videos.